given in this video let us study cumulative distributive function cds cumulative distribution function cds there are two methods to describe the distribution of random variables first one we have studied in the earlier video this is known as probability mass function or probability density function cds in this uh, video we are going to study another method to describe the distribution of random variables it is known as cumulative distribution function in short it is cdf and it is uh, applied it is defined for any kind of uh, random variable they see the discrete continuous or mixed so let us define the cumulative distribution function a CDF of a random variable, it is defined as fx of x is equal to probability of a x to x of a less than or equal to x for all x belonging to R. Here f capital F stands for CDF. If it is small letter f, then it stands for CDF. X indicates that this is the CDF of the random variable x. In other words, it can be also be found from using the PDF or the PMU. It is the integral of minus infinity to infinity. The, the PDF function which is being integrated with respect to U. So for a given x, fx of x is the probability that the observed value of x is less than or equal to x. Let us try to understand and differentiate between CDF and CDF. We have taken an example of dotting the coin twice. Here, x is the number of heads of those heads. We will try to find out the CMF and CDF of x. Let us begin with probability mass function, CMF. There are four outcomes. So, sample space is defined as x equal to x is S T C S T T. The total number of readings is equal to four because we want to observe the number of heads. These are mapped to zero, one, two. T C is mapped to zero. S T and T S are mapped to one. X X is mapped to two. Therefore, the random variable function the even S F S is equal to 0, 1, 2. Now let us form the table, probability mass function table. Uh, T2, which you can observe, it is mapped in the, uh, the outcome is only 1. So therefore, 1 by 4. But head being dot up, you can observe 2 outcomes. So therefore, it is 2 by 4. Head, both the times observing the head will be 1 outcome. So 1 by 4. So when I add all these three probability, I should get it as 1, as 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 is equal to 1. We try to find out the cumulative distributive function for the same problem. We have already got CMS uh, value. The table was when the x value and this is T x equal to s. Then the x value was 0. We have got it as 1 by 4. Then x value was 1. We have got it as 2 by 4. That is equal to 1 by 2. Then the x value is equal to 2. We have got this as 1 by 4. Now, we will try to get the CDF in the table. Uh, when the value of x is less than g when the value of x is less than 0 then cms is not defined so therefore f x of x is equal to g it is not defined for all the values of x it is greater than or equal to 0 but less than 1 in such case, it is T x of equal to V. That is, the probability mass function when x equal to V. 
zero, which is equal to one by four. So you can observe here for zero to one, you have one by four. Let's see when the value of x is between greater than or equal to one but less than two. In this case, it is the p at x equal to zero plus p at x equal to one. So we have one by four plus one by two that is equal to three by four. So that is what we can observe here. From one to two, we have discriminative distributive function is three by four. The last case is when the value of x is greater than or equal to two. In this case, we have p x equal to zero plus p x equal to one plus p x equal to two. So here it is one by four plus one by two plus one by four. It is equal to one. So for all values of x equal to two or greater than two, its value is going to be one. So this is the graphical representation of f x of x. That's the cumulative distributive function. In this problem, we are going to obtain PDF using the PMF table. PMF table is given here. X values are x a, x b, x c, and for that, those values. The probability mass function values are 0 0.24, 0 0.32, 0 0.44. When we add all these probability functions, we are going to get it as one. This can be represented in the form of formula. The formula will be in terms of these step functions: 0.24 u of x minus x b plus 0.32 u of x minus x b. Plus 0.44 u of x minus x c. And if you observe here, for PMF values are not defined. For all values of x a less than, uh, for all values of a less than x c. So you can observe here from 0 to x c does not have any PMF value. But at x equal to x c. Its value is 0.24, and its value is continues to be 0.24 for all the values of x between x a and x b. So between x a and x b, its value is going to be 0.32. Now, third case is when the x value is uh, greater than or equal to uh, x b. But less than x t. In such cases, we have to add these two values, 0.24 plus 0.32, that will give us 0.56. So you can observe here between x t and x t, we get this as 0.56. For all the values of x uh, greater than or equal to x t. We have to add all these three values: 0.24, 0.32, plus 0.44. That will give us one, and that has been shown here. So for all the values of x greater than x t, this value is going to be one. The PDF PMF can be written using any simple function. It can be written as f x of x equal to 0.24 delta of x minus x t plus 0.32 delta of x minus x t plus 0.44 delta of x minus x t. So therefore, you can observe here when x value is equal to x t, it becomes zero. Delta of zero is one. So therefore, at x t equal to x equal to x t, we have 0.24. And when x equal to x b, this term becomes zero. Delta of zero is one. Its value turns out to be 0.32. And when x equal to x c, here this is zero. So therefore, delta of zero is one. 
yesterday police value at x equal to x t is equal to be 0.44. So in general, CTF can be written so that the split random variable r f x of x equal to summation i value varying from 1 to 10 c i u of x minus x i uh, and the TDF for the discrete random variable which is uh, commonly known as TMF can be written as f x of x is equal to summation i value varying from 1 to n c i delta of x minus x i. Let us study the properties of T here. Uh, the event must be read as simple. Outcomes A in S such that their observations in SX are less than or equal to the independent variable X. In other words, it is a subset of sample space yes. First property is the independent variable X equal to infinity. In such cases, fx of infinity always remains as 1. And fx of infinity is the probability that observation x of a are less than or equal to infinity is of course is a certain, certain value that is equal to 1. Second one is the independent variable x equal to minus infinity for negative value of infinity always fx of minus infinity is equal to 0. fx of minus infinity is the probability that observation x of a are less than or equal to minus infinity which is the impossible event. For all other values of independent variable x, f of x value will vary from 0 to 1. All probabilities must satisfy if A is an agent contained in the sample space, then P of A will be always greater than or equal to B. Then P of A, that is probability of A, or probability of A bar is equal to 0. The other has a value of 1. If probability of A is 0, then the probability of A bar is equal to 1. The probability of A bar is 0, then the probability of A is equal to 1. Therefore, probability of A is less than or equal to 1, which is defined as probability of A union A bar is always equal to probability of A plus probability of A bar that is equal to 1. Fourth property, if a pair of independent variables, x1 and x2 are chosen, then x2 is greater than or equal to x1, then fx of x2 minus fx of x1 will give us with the probability of a x of a less than or equal to x2 minus probability of a x of a less than or equal to x1. This should be always greater than or equal to uh, 0. You should note down this. CDF must be monotonously increasing. We have observed from the previous graph. If the derivative if it exists of a cumulative distributive function, it should be always non-negative in nature. So it should be greater than or equal to V. Let's take one more problem. Given the data in the table, we need to find out the previous and CDF of the discrete random variable x and we need to plot both of them and we need to write the expression for fx of x as well as fx of x. So the table is given and the PMS values are given here. So this can be expressed in the form of formula using unit input function. And so it is k value is equal to 1 and x k value is equal to 2.1. This value is 0.21, so therefore 0.21 delta of x minus 2.1 plus if here it is 0.18 and x k value is 3.2, so 0.18 delta of x minus 3.2. Next value is 0.2, x k value is 
0.2 delta of x minus 4.2 plus 0.22 delta of x minus 5.4 and 0.19 delta of x minus 0.6 x minus 6.9. This can be represented graphically as shown in this figure. And for all the values, uh, the values of x equal to 2.1, we have 0.21. At 3.2, we have 0.18. At 4.8, we have 0.2. And at 5.4, we have uh, 0.22. And at 6.9, we have 0.19. This is a previous plot. Let us write the CDF function fx of x in terms of any step function as shown here. 0.21 u of x minus 2.1 plus 0.18 u of x minus 2.2 plus 0.2 u of x minus 4.8 plus 0.22 u of x minus 5.4 plus 0.19 u of x minus 6.9. Using this equation, we can write this table for all values of x between 0 to 2.1. This value is going to be 0. When the value of x varies greater than or equal to 2.1, but less than 3.0, this value is going to be 0 0.1. But when the value of x is greater than or equal to 3.0, but less than 4.8, this value is going to be 0.21 plus 0.18, which is 0.29. And the value of x is greater than or equal to 4.8, but less than 5.4. This value is 0.21 plus 0.18 plus 0.2, that is equal to 0.59. Then the value of x is greater than or equal to 5.4, but it is less than 6.9. In such cases, its value is 0.21 plus 0.18 plus 0.2 plus 0.22, that is equal to 0.81. When the value of x is greater than or equal to 6.19, its value is going to be 0.21 plus 0.18 plus 0.2 plus 0.22 plus 0.19, its value is going to be 1. This table is plotted here, and you can see that between 2.1 so 3.2 we have 0.21 and between 3.2 to 4.8 we have 0.29 between 4.8 to 5.4 it is 0.59 between 4.8 to 5.4 it is 0.59 and between 5.4 to 6.9 it is 0.81 and greater than 6.9 or equal to 6.9 its value is going to be 1 this is the previous plot Thank you. In the next video, we will study more into PDF and CDF by solving problems.